Violet, color. Violet is the color at the end of the visible spectrum of light between blue and the invisible ultraviolet. Violet color has a dominant wavelength of approximately 38450 nanometers. Light with a shorter wavelength than violet but longer than X-rays and gamma rays is called ultraviolet. In the color wheel historically used by painters, it is located between blue and purple. On the screens of computer monitors and television sets, a color which looks similar to violet is made, with the RGB color model, by mixing red and blue light, with a blue twice as bright as the red. This is not true violet, for it does not match the color of a single wavelength shorter than that of blue light. The color's name is derived from the violet flower. Violet and purple look similar, but violet is a spectral color, with its own set of wavelengths on the spectrum of visible light. Purple is a dichromatic color, made by combining blue and red. Amethyst is a notable violet crystal, its color rising from iron and other trace elements in quartz. In history, violet and purple have long been associated with royalty and majesty. The emperors of Rome wore purple togas, as did the Byzantine emperors. During the Middle Ages, violet was worn by bishops and university professors and was often used in art as the color of the robes of the Virgin Mary. In Chinese painting, the color violet represents the harmony of the universe because it is a combination of red and blue, yin and yang, respectively. In Hinduism and Buddhism, violet is associated with the crown chakra. According to surveys in Europe and the United States, Violet is the color people most often associate with extravagance and individualism, the unconventional, the artificial, and ambiguity. From the Middle English and Old French violet, and from the Latin viola, the names of the violet flower. The first recorded use of violet as a color name in English was in 1370. Violet can also refer to the first violas which were originally painted a similar color. In the traditional color wheel used by painters, violet and purple are both placed between red and blue. Purple occupies the space closer to red, between crimson and violet. Violet is closer to blue, and usually less intense and bright than purple. From the point of view of optics, violet is a real color, it occupies its own place at the end of the visible spectrum, and was one of the seven spectral colors off spectrum first described by Isaac Newton in 1672. In the additive color system, used to create colors on a computer screen or on a color television, violet is simulated by purple, by combining blue light at high intensity with a less intense red light on a black screen. The range of purples is created by combining blue and red light of any intensities, the chromaticities form this way line along the line of purples. Violet is one of the oldest colors used by man. Traces of very dark violet, made by grinding the mineral manganese, mixed with water or animal fat and then brushed on the cave wall or applied with the fingers, are found in the prehistoric cave art in Pecmural, in France, dating back about 25,000 years. It has also been found in the cave of Altamira and Lascaux. It was sometimes used as an alternative to black charcoal. Sticks of manganese, used for drawing, have been found at sites occupied by Neanderthal man in France and Israel. From the grinding tools at various sites, it appears it may also have been used to color the body and to decorate animal skins. More recently, the earliest dates on cave paintings have been pushed back farther than 35,000 years. Hand paintings on rock walls in Australia may be even older, dating back as far as 50,000 years. Berries of the genus Rubus, such as blackberries, were a common source of dyes in antiquity. The ancient Egyptians made a kind of violet dye by combining juice of the mulberry with crushed green grapes. The Roman historian Pliny the Elder reported that the Gauls used a violet dye made from bilberry to colored clothing of slaves. These dyes made a satisfactory purple, but it faded quickly in sunlight and when washed. Violet and purple retained their status as the color of emperors and princes of the church throughout the long rule of the Byzantine Empire. While violet was worn less frequently by medieval and Renaissance kings and princes, it was worn by the professors of many of Europe's new universities. Their robes were modeled after those of the clergy, and they often wore square violet caps and violet robes, or black robes with violet trim. Violet also played an important part in the religious paintings of the Renaissance. Angels and the Virgin Mary were often portrayed wearing violet robes. The 15th century Florentine painter Sanino Sanini advised artists, if you want to make a lovely violet color, take fine lacquer, ultramarine blue, the same amount of the one is of the other. For fresco painters, he advised a less expensive version, made of a mixture of blue indigo and red hematite. In the 18th century, violet was a color worn by royalty, aristocrats and the wealthy 
and by both men and women. Good quality violet fabric was expensive, and beyond the reach of ordinary people. Many painters of the 19th century experimented with the uses of the color violet to capture the subtle effects of light. Touche and Delacroix, 1798-1863, made use of violet in the sky and shadows of many of his works, such as his painting of a tiger. The first cobalt violet, the intensely red violet cobalt arsenate, was highly toxic. Although it persisted in some paint lines into the 20th century, it was displaced by less toxic cobalt compounds such as cobalt phosphate. Cobalt violet appeared in the second half of the 19th century, broadening the palette of artists. Cobalt violet was used by Paul Signac, 1863-1935, Claude Monet, 1840-1926, and Georges Seurat, 1859-1891. Today, cobalt ammonium phosphate, cobalt lithium phosphate, and cobalt phosphate are available for use by artists. Cobalt ammonium phosphate is the most reddish of the three. Cobalt phosphate is available in two varieties, a D plus saturated bluish type and a lighter on brighter somewhat more reddish type. Cobalt lithium phosphate is a saturated lighter valued bluish violet. A color similar to cobalt ammonium phosphate, cobalt magnesium borate, was introduced in the later 20th century but was not deemed sufficiently lightfast for artistic use. Cobalt violet is the only truly lightfast violet pigment with relatively strong color saturation. All other light stable violet pigments are dull by comparison. However, the high price of the pigment and the toxicity of cobalt has limited its use. Vincent van Gogh, 1853 1890, was an avid student of color theory. He used violet in many of his paintings of the 1880s, including his paintings of Iris's anthus swirling and mysterious skies of his Starry Night paintings, and often combined it with a complementary color, yellow dot in his painting of his bedroom in Arles, 1888, he used several sets of complementary colors, violet and yellow, red and green, and orange and blue dot in a letter about the painting to his brother Theo, he wrote, the color here, should be suggestive of sleep and repose in general, the walls are a pale violet. The floors of red tiles. The wood of the bed and the chairs are fresh butter yellow, the sheet and the pillows light lemon green. The bedspread bright scarlet. The window green. The bed table orange. The bowl blue. The doors lilac, the painting should rest the head or the imagination. In 1856, a young British chemist named William Henry Perkin was trying to make a synthetic quinine. His experiments produced instead an unexpected residue, which turned out to be the first synthetic aniline dye a deep violet color called movine, or abbreviated simply to mauve, the dye being named after the lighter color of the mallow, mauve, flower. Used to dye clothes, it became extremely fashionable among the nobility and upper classes in Europe, particularly after Queen Victoria wore a silk gown dyed with movine to the Royal Exhibition of 1862. Prior to Perkins' discovery, mauve was a color wickedly the aristocracy and rich could afford to wear. Perkin developed an industrial process, built a factory, and produced the dye by the ton, so almost anyone could wear mauve. It was the first of a series of modern industrial dyes which completely transformed both the chemical industry and fashion. The violet or purple necktie became very popular at the end of the first decade of the 21st century, particularly among political and business leaders. It combined the assertiveness and confidence of a red necktie with the sense of peace and cooperation of a blue necktie, and it went well with the blue business suit worn by most national and corporate leaders. Violet is at one end of the spectrum of visible light, between blue and the invisible ultraviolet. It has the shortest wavelength of all the visible colors. It is the color the eye sees looking at light with a wavelength of between 380 and 450 nanometers. In the traditional color wheel used by painters, violet and purple lie between red and blue. Violet is inclined toward blue, while purple is inclined toward red. Violet colors composed by mixing blue and red light are within the purple colors. The word purple is used in the common sense for any color between blue and red. In color theory, a purple is a color along the line of purples on the C chromaticity diagram and excludes violet. Violet light from the rainbow, which can be referred as spectral violet, has only short wavelengths. Violet objects are objects that reflect violet light. Objects reflecting spectral violet often appear dark, because human vision is relatively insensitive to this wavelength. Monochromatic lamps emitting spectral violet wavelengths can be roughly approximated by the color shown below as electric violet. The earliest violet pigments used by humans, 
found in prehistoric cave paintings, were made from the minerals manganese and hematite. Manganese is still used today by the Uranda people, a group of indigenous Australians, as a traditional pigment for coloring the skin during rituals. It is also used by the Hopi Indians of Arizona to color ritual objects. The most famous violet purple dye in the ancient world was Tyrian purple, made from a type of sea snail called the murex, found around the Mediterranean. In western Polynesia, residents of the islands made a violet dye similar to Tyrian purple from the sea urchin. In Central America, the inhabitants made a dye from a different sea snail, the purpura, found on the coasts of Costa Rica and Nicaragua. The Mayans used this color to dye fabric for religious ceremonies, and the Aztecs used it for paintings of ideograms, where it symbolized royalty. During the Middle Ages, most artists made purple or violet on their paintings by combining red and blue pigments, usually blue azurite or lapis lazuli with red ochre, cinnabar or minium. They also combined lake colors made by mixing dye with powder, using wood or indigo dye for the blue, and dye made from cochineal for the red. Or seen, or purple moss, was another common violet dye. It was known to the ancient Greeks and Hebrews, was made from a Mediterranean lichen calidarchal or dyer's moss, rock salad tinctoria, combined with an ammoniac, usually urine. Orsine began to achieve popularity again in the 19th century, when violet and purple became the color of demi mourning, worn after a widow or widower had worn black for a certain time, before he or she returned to wearing ordinary colors. In the 18th century, chemists in England, France and Germany began to create the first synthetic dyes. Two synthetic purple dyes were invented at about decimi time. Cudbear is a dye extracted from oracle lichens that can be used to dye wool and silk, without the use of mordant. Cudbear was developed by Dr. Cuthbert Gordon of Scotland. Production began in 1758. The lichen is first boiled in a solution of ammonium carbonate. The mixture is then cooled and ammonia is added, and the mixture is kept damp for three to four weeks. Then the lichen is dried and ground to powder. The manufacturer details were carefully protected, with a 10 feet high wall being built around the manufacturing facility, and staff consisting of Highlanders sworn to secrecy. French purple was developed in France at about the same time. The lichen is extracted by urine or ammonia. Then the extract is acidified, the dissolved dye precipitates and is washed. Then it is dissolved in ammonia again, the solution is heated in air until it becomes purple. Then it is precipitated with calcium chloride. The resulting dye was more solid and stable than other purples. Cobalt violet is a synthetic pigment that was invented in the second half of the 19th century, and is made by a similar process as cobalt blue, cerulean blue, and cobalt green. It is the violet pigment most commonly used today by artists, along with manganese violet. Movine, also known as aniline purple and Perkins mauve, was the first synthetic organic chemical dye discovered serendipitously in 1856. Its chemical name is 3-amino-2, plus or minus 9-dimethyl-5-phenyl-7-petalolamino, phenazinium acetate. In the 1950s, a new family of violet synthetic organic pigments called quinacridone came onto the market. It had originally been discovered in 1896, but were not synthesized until 1936, and not manufactured until the 1950s. The colors in the group range from deep red to violet in color, and have the molecular formula CHNO. They have strong resistance to sunlight and washing, and are used in oil paints, watercolors, and acrylics, as well as in automobile coatings and other industrial coatings. Violet flowers and their color became symbolically associated with lesbian love. It was used as special code by lesbians and bisexual women for self-identification and also to communicate support for the sexual preference. This connection originates from the poet Sappho in fragments of her poems. In one poem, she describes a lost love wearing a garland of violet tiaras, braided rosebuds, dill, and crocus twined around her neck. In another fragment, she recalls her lover as having put around herself many wreaths of violets and roses. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.